Welcome back to Mage. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. My Hero Academia 254. I'm still catching up on Vigilantes. <laughs> 70 chapters in one week is a little difficult sometimes. <laughs> Unless it's solo level. Yeah. Then, <laughs> you know, 80 chapters in a day is not hard. Yeah. But uh, I did catch up, and Shirakumo is kind of an important character for a racer. So. Okay. Let's get straight into it. Chapter yep. is, you wanted to be a hero more than anyone else. Mm. Ooh. Oh, there's that color page. That's a nice one. Woo. New movie hits the big screens. We got Bakugo and Deku and the villain. December 20th. It's next week. Ooh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Dude, yeah, Bakugo looks horse. like a monster. He's got like guns everywhere. No, artillery man. That's like war machine. And then like, okay, Shoto is giving me full Black Widow vibes. He kind of is. Yeah, yeah he's got both their hairstyles. And then, <laughs> oh, what's his name? Oh my gosh. He's got Gundam, like armor. Oh, Idea. Yeah, Idea. Idea. Uh, he looks sweet. Dude, those are some good. Oh. The hardening guy. I always forget. That's, that's a good, that's some good panels. Kirishima, I think that is. Yeah, that, he's looking that's nice. Some good panels. I really like how Idia has a more leaner look. Hmm. You know. All right. There he is. Oh. Straight as, into it. As long as the three of us stick together, uh, there's not a problem in the world we can't resolve. Shirakomu or Oboro <laughs> lost his life when we were interning together. Jeez. Yeah. Intern. Uh, the three of us were planning on founding our own agency with um, Midnight, the okay. lady. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, Shota would take care of all the details for us. The incident happened shortly afterwards. And well, and we will never forget... Oh wait, and we'll never fight over money, alright? <laughs> he was caught under a collapsing building and an, el an all too early death. Long ago, we all aimed to be heroes together back when they were all UA students. In other words, there's a high probability that Kuragiri is a Nomu. There it is. Constructed with Shirakumi's body as its base. Um, Yikes. You know, they used to call us the Three Stooges of Class A. I still don't get what you're talking about. <laughs> all the most exceptional quirks are gathered together at UA. As such, there's only one logical conclusion to make. And use them as a base. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like a homeless man scrounging for scraps behind a three-star restaurant, he most likely switched out the corpse before the cremation process and turned him into the deranged beast we know as known. Don't bother trying to understand DJ. Mm. There is nothing to understand. Only evil. I just don't get it. He's sleeping right now. Otherwise, he'd try to use his quirk. So why us in particular? Alright, he's cut. <laughs> They're all shook. Their friends are alive. Well, mm. sort of alive. Um, don't tell me you are hoping for some miracle using the power of our friendship. L real life isn't some shonen movie. Uh, with the proper explanations in place, miracles become possibilities. The Nomu that Endeavor defeated in Kyushu uh, clearly possess a sense of individuality, as well as a lingering obsession with strong opponents. Yep, he was taunting in the whole time. It was time. a great fight. Yeah, it was a great fight. <laughs> After examining the DNA of its burnt corpse, we discovered that its original body was a ruffian from an underground fight club. So his original character may have remained intact. Unfortunately, I've already fought against him once at UA. Not only is he... Not only is his way of speaking different, but he didn't react at all when we fought. Yeah. So, because they fought at the, um... The, like, the... Uh, the park. Yes, the park. The rescue... Rescue center. <laughs> With the black hole guy. Mm. Uh, yes. His character may have been intact then. But he may have also... He may also have just been moving in based on erased or modified memories. Like I said before, if we can get him to talk somehow, everything may become clear. A razor head. Present Mike. I would like you to to reawaken Shirakumu Oboru's resolve. 
Yeah. Yeesh. They're trying again to remember. Oh no, it's just like the Kingsman movie. So you're telling us to just talk about our memories. Please, what about his family? If you two aren't enough, then... <laughs> Deep breaths, Teresa. Mm. As if I let you tell his family anything about this. He's using his quirk, it looks mm. like. He's awake. Placeholder. Please begin. Oh, ho. <laughs> what rare guests? I haven't seen you two since we attacked you, eh? Like, oh, oh. Uh, the mist doesn't disappear, even with a razor looking at him, which means his body itself is made of that stuff. Uh, you sure y'all did get something wrong? He's got nothing in common with Shirakumo. Uh, Shiragaki Tomura. Is he doing alright? He hasn't been caught yet, has he? As if I know, uh, too bad. Are you concerned about Shiragaki? Shigura Shigaraki. Shigaraki. <laughs> Ruin it for you, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> I said the wrong names a few times. Uh, <laughs> indeed, it is my mission to look over him. Uh, well, that's a dumbass mission. Mm -hmm. What kind of mission is that to look after some gloomy old brat? Uh, it is no burden to me whatsoever. After all, I can't just leave him be. It's not done. No is a race, did a race just like stop him from talking there? Mike? No. D okay. Sorry. No. Uh, he was the type of guy who would go out of his way without hesitation to pick up the abandoned kitten that I couldn't pick up. Dude, so Eraserhead is just depressed. He is right now. He's like straining his eyes super hard. Mm. Don't blink. I don't see a point. What are you here to do? No reaction. I was the type of guy who would always be hesitating. So, you're Aizawa Shoto. Um, sh oh my gosh. Shirakuma. <laughs> nice to meet you, Shoto. Shoto, hurry up, then... No, hurry up, they'll run out of seats at the cafeteria. But despite that... Uh, here, I'll lend you my goggles. Now you don't have to worry about... Your eyes when you fight. Look, we match. You're always pulling forward. So that you're always pulling me forward. At that point in the manga. Yeah. Just fighting brings up dust and scrap, and he mm -hmm. couldn't really keep his eyes on the opponent. Uh, you sure you have the right place? This isn't a church. You're always so bright, looking ahead, always, always looking ahead, uh, always, without ever considering the consequences, even though everything would be over if you died. Wobbling. Okay. You know, both Yamada and I are teachers now. I've been really strict with my with the students. Uh, he's talking about his disgustingly high expulsion count, huh? <laughs> Only on paper. <laughs> hey, did you see? Eraser Sensei just ran out with a real mean look on his face. Doesn't he always have a mean look? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this one was way meaner than usual. Like how he looked when he expelled us. So, not as mean as when he expelled us. Not as mean when he expelled us. There must be like two different groups oh, there. Okay. But I still have nightmares about that now. I thought it was all over for me. Maybe I think we've really grown as a result, don't you think? Yes. No way. For a warning lesson, expulsion is way too far. <laughs> Thanks to his antics, everyone in 2A is going to have that on our permanent records, you know? You want the ability to expel and re-roll students. Yes. Re-enroll students, sorry. He's tactical. Uh, yes, self-sacrifice and recklessness are very different concepts, but in order for those headstrong students to learn this, I'd like for them to experience death once. Doing so will push them to strive even higher. Well, freedom is the founding philosophy of UA after all. I wanted you, I wanted heroes who could pull others forward like you could, to be able to live even longer. Shirokomo, if by any chance you're still in there, let's all become heroes together. Dude misses his friend. Holy mm. crap. That's... That's rough, dude. <laughs> mm. I feel like the anime is going to do a really, really ball-busted moment here. <clears throat> it's going to be a tearjerker. Yeah. Uh, the last comment on the bottom. His friend of long past, right before his eyes... 
Uh, but will his voice reach him? Mm. I feel like it won't. But it will be like, he'll laugh it off, and then he'll accidentally say something, and then he'll remember. Yeah, but yeah you reckon no. So he will trigger something. Yeah, he'll trigger something, but not initially. Okay. It'll be like, they'll have a little laughing moment, and he's like, I don't know who you think I am, or whatever, and then... You know, he'll accidentally... Something will spill out, and then it'll just trigger it. Okay. Erase is putting himself into this conversation right now. You can just see how much uh, Shrikumo meant to him. That's pr- a very straightforward chapter for this yeah. one. Uh, they're trying to save their friend. Good to go to Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let us know down below what you thought of the chapter, and we're going to go to Reddit now. See you soon. Reddit. All right. Reddit portion, top comment, beginning of the chapter, this isn't a shonen movie, later the same, later that same chapter, let's all become heroes together. Well. That's lovely, <laughs> right? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Kurugu. Damn, bro, I must have Alzheimer's, because I don't remember asking. And then the photo is... Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll post that one on the screen. He's just chilling, dude. All right. So, Aizawa never has actually been permanently expelling students, only doing it as a way to demonstrate the stakes of being a hero. Presumably, if he felt the lesson didn't stick, the expulsion would have. Now the question is that always planned... Wait. Now the question is, was that always planned, or was it a retcon when Hori realized he needed some second years for some... As of yet unrelevant plot point. Jesus Christ, dude, learn to comma. <laughs> My God. You just need to take a breath. Even if there is no comma. <sighs> I need to breathe, fam. <laughs> okay. So, we'll just go to the next one. If it's a retcon, I'm glad he did it because I always found the 154 expulsions thing to be incredibly stupid and a sign of Isla being a poor teacher. I don't really buy Isla's logic about expulsions, building character, or whatever. But at least it's more reasonable than what we previously thought. Mm. It gave him. I mean, that part is what essentially I see when Kakashi did it to Naruto yeah. back in the day. They need to experience or see what they're doing wrong. Mm. It's just more like a shock moment. Yeah. Uh, real life isn't a shonen movie. Uh oh, Eyes was becoming self aware. <laughs> As someone who hasn't even read Vigilante, you should be reading this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> As someone who hasn't even read Vigilantes, this made me tear up. Oh, I can't... How do you say his name? Horikoshi. Hori- Hori- Horikoshi is seriously such an amazing creator. He's doing alright. Yeah. Mm. That's about it. Yeah. Comments seem pretty similar. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, I think the next chapter will be Kurugimi not remembering. And then... Kurigiri. Kurigiri. Good God, man. What is with these names? I only remember some of them. How many syllables do these people need? Many. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think he won't remember um, originally, and then they'll kind of get in an argument, and then something will slip out, and then it will trigger something. So That's how I see yeah, this going. They've obviously merged, like, a bunch of different quirks together. Like... It doesn't seem like it's resulted in split personalities, like split, mm. um, but he somehow kept it all together. Mm. It might not be Kurogimi, oh, flipping Cloud Man, um, but <laughs> Kuro, uh, original guy, had a quirk that was like using clouds and stuff. Oh, okay. Like a flying nimbus ish type of thing. Mm. Maybe he got like split with a, um, like a dark matter kind of thing. Yeah, is split with a different kind of quirk that just modified it. Now he's smoker, dark smoker from One Piece. Now he's just a black hole. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. Uh, let us know down below what you thought of the chapter and where you think it's going. Yeah. Um, poor Izawa, I guess. Poor Mike. Yeah, it was um, Izawa, Mike, and Midnight yeah. who would have been affected most by this. That last panel says it all, though. Feels bad, man. Feel it. Feels bad, man. Anyway, that's it from us. Uh, Let us know down below, and we'll see you next week for solo leveling. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch us later.